So, hello everybody. Bitwig 5 is finally out in the real non-beta version. And since then, I got quite some questions. Where can I find my controller configuration, for example? How can I open the JavaScript console? And such questions, since Bitwig did quite some changes in the user interface. And that's what we're going to look at now. So first thing, this is the 01 Bitbig 4410. And there was this sidebar panel when you clicked here, which was also already called Show Studio I.O. panel. But it strangely also contained settings which are related for the project for your specific controller. So you had your parameters in there. And there was also a button for opening the script console, which did not make sense at all in a Studio I.O. configuration. Let's switch over to Bitwig 5 and see how this got improved and where you can find these parameters now. So we are here back in Bitwig 5. And if you look at the side pane, you see here now this new icon, which clearly shows a speaker. And this makes more sense now to have only the output monitoring, so the speaker configuration, as well as your monitoring queue setup available in this pane. So where are now the controller settings? They were moved into the title bar and each of your controllers got a little icon. And if you click that, you will get some configuration parameters which we will see in a second, but first one command. I noticed there is a little bug here that not all of the controllers show up. And currently the workaround is to switch the display profile. If you go back then to the other one, it shows up all seven I have currently running and I hope this gets fixed soon. Just a little squirk here that made it into the final release. If we open up, for example, the push two, you will here now find the previous project parameters, which were previously here in the sidebar. And the project parameters here, like scale settings or the note repeat settings, are now accessible here and you can check them out. The lower section now also got some kind of head up display where you can see the currently selected parameter page to edit yeah it's a nice little gesture but not too helpful <laughs> i think but you can check what is currently selected this one is a little bit of a difficult one i think so the idea here is that the user can configure what kind of parameters he wants or she wants to see you notice we have now this track and project parameters as well and yeah the idea is the user can configure that but from a developer's point of view i want to decide how to access them from the controller and this cannot currently be done and you get always this yeah, default collection if I say I want to follow devices. So it's, it might be a bit confusing if you click in Bitwig on one of these, it will also change on the device view where I actually wanted to see only that one. You can make sure this is the case. If you change that to device, then it will work as previously. I hope we will also get some improvement in that area. But nevertheless, it works. And you can also find here the pinning, which is a bit little bit hidden you need to move your mouse over it so you could also pin here the track and or also the device and you could also pin the mode which i'm not sure if that is too helpful because it cannot be changed from the api currently anyway but nevertheless you know what this pin is doing now there are also two options here. One is if you scroll your clip area or the tracks and it moves here out of the visible area in Bitwig, if Bitwig should scroll here automatically like this, or if you want to stick it, maybe you want to have this only on one controller if you have multiple controllers. So it makes sense to turn it off maybe for all but one controller. Another thing is that you can also hide the frame of this area, especially confusing if you have multiple ones connected and only pick one to control it. For example, you see here this area is captured by two controllers. One is blue and one is orange and it draws half blue, half orange. If you hide the push to one, you will only see the orange one. You will also find these two options in the normal controller configuration. So if you go to settings here, controllers, you can find this option here 
on this icon list. So we have previously the one to open the settings. Then you have the other icon to show information displays on the screen. And you can also now disable this drawing of the rectangle. So it's also gone, the blue one. And you can change your color. So maybe let's switch to red which is more important. So we see now also red, the rectangle. So some nice options to make it more easy to spot the controllers you are using and the areas you are currently controlling. And the last icon is also this previously shown option that you can disable the scrolling of the visible content. And there is still this beta information. Please ignore this. I asked plenty of times about it to remove it. It just shows that it uses the API for the display, which is there and works fine since years now, but somehow it's still showing up this beta sign. So ignore that. Everything is fine and final. So another thing I'd like to show you is we have now these parameters I talked already multiple times about. So we have these track parameters and track parameters do not only show up here in this area, but first maybe let's map something so we can see some parameters for that. Let's do some random stuff, maybe also add something else that we see more of that. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Just click randomly on some parameters um, to get some more input here. These show also up in the mixer. So if I open out the mixer, there is now a new icon, which is this knobby one. And there you see now these parameters as well. So if I change that, it changes here on top and vice versa as well. You can change the number of parameters. So currently we see here six, which the space permits. If you move it up, you will see up to eight. Let's move it down. And if you open up here this side project info, there are three options to configure that. So you can change here down to only one or two, depending on how much you have mapped or you would like to have in your visible view. And you can also clean up here a little bit this area if you don't want to see the project or further groups, if you have more groups. So for example, if we go here, so here you can also see the group info. And if you don't want to clutter this area, you can hide the group headers and then you will only see the parameters for the current track. There is another option, which is not so easy to see maybe, which does the following if there is nothing map and you just simply want to see the parameters of the first device also on the track you can enable this option and then they show up here and also in your track last thing to mention was a question where is the control script console gun so this was this button below here which is also gone and there is no more button for that you have two other options to open it First one is to assign a shortcut to it, which makes a lot of sense for me, but not maybe if you're not a developer. Um, I assigned here Control Shift plus J to it to quickly have always access to the console, which might be helpful for you as well if you look for bugs or you have a script running which crashed and then you can find details in here, which you can send to the developer of the script. And the other option is to press Control plus plus the return key, and then you will get this commander where you can execute different functions. And there is also the console in there and you can simply click it and you will also then end up here with the controller script console window. And the biggest change to user interface is definitely the browser, which was talked a lot about. But this will be also a longish video, I think, and I will do a separate video about this one. But until then, make some funky music.